How y'all doing? Pastor, I ain't gonna be long. I see it on your face. You like, what I'm here for? <laughs> First off, we want to say God is the greatest. All right. And when I talk, I talk with passion. So I want y'all to bear with me. Listen closely. Mother, mama, I call you mama. Uh, we've been introduced since 2003, big bro, so, you know, it's real family. Corey, what's going on? Um, <laughs> y'all gave us an icon. Y'all gave us a legend. You know, we all on borrowed time. So the things that he accomplished while he was here, we want to let y'all know that we're going to continue on his legacy. And even through the small amount of time, it made a big impact. You understand? And I know he's the head of the household, and a lot of people in here is probably questioning. Now, there's two ways to ask questions. The first way to ask questions is you're asking because you're trying to learn the knowledge so you can apply it to future understandings. And the second way to ask questions is you're questioning because you want to question the reasoning for what's going on. And the second way of questioning can be disobedience. So we always have to go with the first way of how we ask questions, not why is this happening, not why is this happening to me? No, we have to ask God, what is the purpose? What is the lesson? How do I apply this to my future understanding? Because this the end. He's at peace. One day we too shall do this. He's still leading. He said, I got to go to see what's going on. But as you can see, I'm still leading. You shall follow. So at the end of the day, y'all, Mama, I want to let you know, because we talked yesterday. And when we talked yesterday, I was just observing. And I, I want you to know that you are being obedient. The way you spoke, your energy, the way you talk, your head. Corey said it yesterday. She said, I'm going off how my mama going. But how you move him up is how we supposed to move during these times. Because all the morals and the doctrine, this is the only time that we really apply it. When we hurt Job. Everybody go read the book of Job. Just read the book of Job. He took everything from Job. He kept snatching everything from Job. And Job, like every Christian that, you know, everybody like, you know, I put so much good into the world. Why? so much bad coming to me. He's like, you know what? I ain't really been bad to nobody. I just want to talk to him. I want to ask him why. Why he doing this to me? God looked at him and said, who are you talking to? Why not you? This is the time for you to praise my name. This is the time for you to tell the other people through the midst of pain, I'm the one that's giving you the strength, fool. So when people think you crazy, Ma, you ain't crazy. You being obedient. And I'm here to tell the family, big bro, so it's time to be obedient. It's time to take charge. Because I know the Twilight Zone is real. But guess what? It's real. It's, this is the real. And I understand the pain. This is a familiar pain. And I'm here to tell you as a soldier, I'm scrapped up with you. I'm ready to fight with you. You understand? So continue to be a leader to the family. Listen, it ain't over with y'all. It ain't over with. He did what he was supposed to do. We all know borrowed time. Nobody in here know how they gonna leave. But when you leave and we meet our maker, we want to make sure, hey, wasn't I obedient? Didn't I do the best I could? So we're going to keep his name alive, and I want to tell the family, I love y'all, and I'm here with you forever. Keep God first, everybody. Quan, I love you, big bro. You a legend.
Hello, how are you, the viewers? Welcome back to Jet Media. As we commemorate and celebrate the last funeral of the greatest rapper, Rich Homie Kwan, who was buried earlier yesterday, his longtime friend, this younger fry, gave an emotional funeral whereby he told the mourners, including the mother, of rich homie that they have been friends with rich homie since 2003 and he said he will be there for the family in all the circumstances and the situations that will transpire after the death of his fellow musician his fellow rapper long term friend rich homie kwan other mourners were there and gave emotion tributes including killer mike was also among the mourners who were given chance to give their word to the mourners who attended the last funeral service of devonte rama aka rich homie kwan the incidents regarding his death as earlier reported a call came from the wife calling police or what you can call the medical team for assistance when he found him unconscious in the coach what you can call the chair in the sitting room after taking children from school therefore a lot of rumors have been circulating on social media. However, an official statement, what we can say, the postmortem is still on the way, and the family is yet due to give us the final report the circumstances surrounding his death. Kwan was ready to rest yesterday in his hometown where he grew up, Atlanta and thousands of members including family members friends and fans gathered at the world changing church international in south fulton to pay their last respect to their foreign star it was a moment of joy happiness sadness as mourners were shedding tears and also having their last laugh when young fly was cracking jokes in his speech because of his emotional words he advised mourners to thank god for the gift of life that god had given everyone because when you are living you must exalt god as the almighty for the gift of life he has given you mourners clapped when he finished talking and also the MC called him the preacher. Therefore, on this channel, we promise to give you all the proceedings and the medical report which will transpire. And we shall also inform you the real cause of death if the family comes out with the statement. A lot of people are still going on social media whereby they are praying his last funeral by posting his photos, videos of him and many others who attended the funeral. Thank you for listening and being part of this show. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing, commenting and also leave your respect to reach Homi Kwan in the comment section below. Kwan died at an early age. At a young age where the world and the family needed him most. His brother Andre was also among the mourners who were there to see and witness the final moments of his brother and all sisters, his wife and also the children were in the presence to witness the final moment of the father being raid rest his memories of the pictures when he was young 
Also, 